Hello, I'm Joe Paiva from GeoLearn, and this is a course on unmanned airborne vehicles or unmanned airborne systems, more correctly, an introduction as they might be used in surveying and mapping. So in this course, we will talk about what UAVs are, and as I inferred in my introduction, Technically, we should be calling them UAS for Unmanned Airborne System. Talk about what it is, talk about the operational issues, some of the data products that you can create in the geomatics world, uh, some issues with respect to ground control, uh, regulatory issues, and the kinds of problems that a UAS can solve. This is an overview, so we will not go into any of these in a great amount of detail, although I have tried to provide a little bit more uh, in terms of slides than I will actually say during this course. So let's start by talking about the impact of UAS on society in general as well as on the geomatics field. So is it a game changer? And many of you in geomatics uh, have used GPS or have been aware of the introduction of GPS and how it changed life as it existed um, for uh, people in the geospatial world, so I'm using it as a, a comparison. So is it a game changer? Uh, somewhat, like GPS. And why do I say somewhat? Because UAS will not fit in every situation that you encounter where you need to collect some kind of data that it would facilitate. Um, there are times when you cannot fly a UAS, and we'll talk about some of those times, um, good examples would be a hurricane or perhaps uh, extremely rugged terrain but where you need to fly close to the surface. And similarly, GPS has those limitations. You cannot use GPS in heavy canopy, forest canopy for example, or inside a building or underground. Does, uh, do, does, do unmanned airborne systems have societal impact? Yes, major, just like GPS. Today, Almost everyone who has a cell phone has GPS, and we probably wouldn't have envisioned that when we saw GPS introduced into our field back in the 80s. And in that same way, uh, unmanned airborne systems will have major societal impact. Um, we just had an introduction from Amazon uh, about possibly using robotic helicopters or rotorcraft to deliver packages, for example. But there are many other applications as well. As you may know, there is quite a bit of discussion about unmanned airborne systems and how they might impact privacy. Uh, does it mandate operational changes? Yes, uh, just like GPS mandates operational changes, meaning you have to have a clear view of the sky to be able to get GPS signals, to be able to position accuracy, accuracy there will be major operational changes, a lot of them having to do with safety. That is safety of the aircraft, safety of yourself and your team, and then safety of third parties. Is it possible to fail with this technology? Definitely yes, just like with GPS. What benefits uh, can it have? Can it have benefits when properly used and applied? And the answer is lots of big ones, again, just like GPS. GPS is so pervasive that even if you don't have a cell phone, your life today is affected by GPS. And I suspect in the next five years we'll be saying the same thing about unmanned airborne systems. Lots of regulation, and the answer there is definitely yes, and that's where it differs a lot from GPS. And to be able to operate unmanned airborne systems, whether it is for mapping and surveying, or for any other activity, you will have to be very aware of all the regulatory uh, issues uh, relating to the use of uh, unmanned airborne systems, both from the point of uh, safety, interaction with other aircraft, with the terrain, with other unmanned, uh, with other unmanned airborne systems, uh, and so forth.